What's going on guys, Rizzy here bringing you my first commentary of the year, I guess. Uh, I've been gone for about three years now, and um, I've just been off doing my own thing. I went to school, ended up uh, graduating and all that stuff, so I decided I'd get back onto the Call of Duty scene and pick up my channel again. I just put out an episode, if you guys haven't seen it, please go check it out in the link below. I'm just going to talk really quick about this gameplay that I'm putting out. Um, this gameplay is mostly me spawn trapping. We had a six-man team, we all got together, and we ended up spawn trapping the whole team. So, <clears throat> you're going to see me post it up behind the couch pretty soon. Uh, right now, we're just trying to establish positions. Um, trying to honestly flip them, because the best, best way to do it is to have, actually, control of A, which we just took control of, and uh, push them back at C. Have somebody run Garden. Or sandbox, I guess you can call it. Uh, I'm running couch. I'm playing safe because I told the team I wanted to get a nuke for a commentary, and that's exactly what I did. I do end up cutting it a little short just because it gets kind of repetitive, and I'm pretty sure you guys can assume what happens next. We end up winning. So um, if you guys want to know how to do this, there's videos out there that can show you how to spawn trap on Nuketown. They all pretty much spawn right in front of you. If you have a six-man team, you can dominate the whole goddamn game. And that's exactly what we did. It has a lot to do with sentry placement. Um, I know one has to go in the car, by the car, uh, blue car. Um, one also has to go on the way back, uh, near your spawn, near A, so they don't spawn back there. There's a few other spots that they, they put it. Um, I mean, if you look closely at the game, I guess you could tell where they are. Um, just to make sure that nobody spawns behind us, they all spawn in front of us. And, uh, I think three out of the six people in my game actually ended up dropping nukes because of this, um, because of this, uh, the spawn trap. Uh, you can see me here, I'm spraying through the smoke. Hopefully I was gonna get somebody, but, uh, I think I actually did end up managing, managed to get one of them. Yeah, right there. Yeah, um, so, <clears throat> I, I start, I, I mean, I start off slow in the beginning, because we still had to make an establishment of where they're gonna spawn and how we're gonna get them to their spawn. Uh, but I do end up picking up the nuke, and if I played the whole gameplay out, which was a 12-minute gameplay, it was about... I, I think I got the uh, nuke, and then I actually circled back to get a brutal again. Came very close to getting another nuke, but and didn't end up getting it. Um, so yeah, I did cut this this gameplay a little short, uh, just just to you know make it easier on me when it comes to commentating and all that stuff. Because this is like, honestly my first time commentating in like very very long time. But um, yeah, did anybody hear about these new guns, the uh, the nerf guns? Uh, I can't really tell the difference between the Kudas, but the VMP is really messing with me. The uh, VMP, the kick is actually uh, increased a lot, and now it's kind of throwing me off, so I can't really use it as much. Um, one thing that I feel like they should nerf, though, is definitely the Brecky. The Brecky is way too high-powered, and I feel like um, we should we should nerf it a little bit. If you pay attention to the feed at one moment in this game, I don't know if we've already passed it or not, but he does end up getting like a six-man with a Brecky, one of my teammates, and just that alone lets me know that, that that gun is way too uh, amped up and way too strong. I feel like they should really nerf it, especially on Nuketown. And especially since, you know, coming from my point of view of being a sniper, it doesn't really help me a lot. Once I get hit once with a Brecky, even though it, it takes me like maybe two shots to get killed unless it's a headshot or they're very close up, it's going to kill me regardless if it hits me once or twice. Because um, the one thing that they didn't put in this game that they put in Black Ops 2 was toughness. They don't have toughness in this game. It's very hard for a sniper, especially if you're getting shot at, to, you know, retaliate and get hits. I mean, you get you gotta really avoid gunshots to, you know, become a successful sniper in this game, and that's why I feel like in my last episode, my clips weren't that great. They were kind of, you know, lacking in, in my standards. My standards have actually gone down since, you know, Black Ops 2 days. My Black Ops 2 days, if you guys haven't seen those videos, please go check it out on my channel, and don't forget to hit that subscribe button. But, um, my, my, my gameplays back then were a lot better, I think, honestly, because, um, I, I don't know. I was. Just, I guess. I guess the auto aim helped a lot, and I was just. I, I played that game a lot, so I was used to you know where the spawns were all the time and stuff. This game I don't play as often. It's more of me just you know getting on and playing casually instead of you know going for clips constantly and playing with like Darth and, and, and thrust and all that, just trying to get myself famous. And I you know I decided fuck it. Why don't I, why don't I just do my own thing? Stop trying to copy other people. And uh, whatever I feel was good or is good for like my standards I'm gonna put out there I'm not gonna follow everybody else's standards and, and listen to everybody else and and I mean I, I feel like the same thing should go for everybody else who's putting out videos if you like the video fuck everybody else you know just do your own thing don't don't follow everyone else um, if you feel like the clip is good then I, I can't see why why somebody else wouldn't you know 
Um, I, I have a lot of people telling me my episode 11 was good. I have a lot of people telling me my episode 11 was trash. Um, and that also comes along with YouTube. Right? You're going to get a lot of haters regardless of what you're doing. You could, you could be hitting fucking 10 mans constantly. You're going to get a hater. It doesn't matter whether, you, whether you're the best player in the game or the worst player in the game. You're going to get haters. Uh, I mean, if you're if you're really bad at the game, you're gonna get more haters. But regardless, you're gonna get haters. I mean, Pomage and and Sprat and all those famous snipers. That, I mean, they have haters. If you go check out their videos, there's gonna be dislikes. There's always dislikes. So, I mean, do your own thing. Don't don't follow everybody else's path. You know, just just do your own thing. Like, enjoy what you're doing. Having fun. That's why I came back after so long. I I I, I missed YouTube so much. I missed the attention. Honestly, that's the biggest thing for me. Like, people sending me friend requests because they're like, hey, I saw you on YouTube, saw one of your videos. I don't know. That made me feel good. People commenting in the section down below and, and leaving likes on my videos and, and showing their friends and stuff like that. I don't know. That, that a part of me, I guess I guess you could consider myself a bit of an entertainer. I, I like to entertain other people, and hopefully I could do that with my, my new channel. Even though I'm not great at commentaries, as you could tell, I'm not the best, I guess. I'm not, I'm not scumpy or anybody else like that, but... I mean, I, I'm trying. I'm trying to, you know, bring bring out my best content and and give you guys the best commentaries you could possibly ask for. Um, and it's going to take time. I mean, I'm only at 300 subscribers, and I just recently hit it, and I want to thank you guys for that. I mean, three. I never thought when I first started I'd even hit 300. I thought, you know, I'll put out maybe five videos, and I'm not going to get that much, att much attention. But after my second, third video, I just I, I realized... That more, more and more people started coming to me asking me if I, when I was going to make another video and asking me for tips and stuff. And I thought, I felt special when people did that stuff, you know. Like I, I, felt, I felt like I was a part of something. So I want to thank you guys from the bottom of my heart for 300 subs. That is amazing and awesome. And uh, I appreciate it. Anyways, guys, this uh, game is going to be coming to an end soon. I just want to give my final shout-outs to this team. Amazing team, amazing teamwork, great call-outs. I want to give a shout out to my 300 subs. Thank you guys again so much. I appreciate it. You guys are making things happen for me. And I couldn't be more thankful. And my last shout out has got to go to this fucking M8. This M8 tears things apart. Never realized how good it was until I started using it recently. I used it when I tried to get Dark Matter. And I didn't really like it. But I, for some reason, nowadays, I guess the, since the VMP has been nerfed, I resorted to the M8. The M8 is amazing. I never, I, I, I definitely underestimated how powerful it was. I saw other people using it, and they were dominating with it, but I could never get it going. But apparently in this game, I could. I, I mean, I wasn't doing too bad. I mean, I was spawn trapping, as you could tell. I ended up hitting the nuke, I, I just noticed. Uh, I'm the unstoppable. So, anyways, guys, thank you for watching. You guys could watch the rest of this, uh, this game until I die, I guess. But, uh, yeah, there I go. Anyways, guys, thanks for uh, watching. Please hit the like button and hit the sub button. Go check out my episode. It'll be in the description down below if you guys haven't seen it. And uh, I'll see you guys later. Peace. I'm out.